and I want to be comfortable in my home. And I want to make sure whatever decisions I do to this home are going to be the right decisions. And I want to be well informed. We've been in this home approximately 17 years. And one big question from the start was, what type of heating system should we be changing over? We liked our old heat because it was warm, but it was not good for the environment. Atlantic Canada has a lot of existing oil-fired home heating systems. Quite frankly, oil heating is part of our past, not part of our future. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting rid of oil for some time now. Your insurance company really doesn't like you to have oil in the house. If you have a leak, it could be a very expensive cleanup. I had a lot of questions on where should we turn. We just like to know where we're going to start. First step to save money and improve your home and your heating system is to find a certified energy evaluator and have an energy evaluation done on your own. So as a registered energy advisor, we're not just looking at the size and the age of the house. We're doing our best to determine the insulation levels throughout the house and the air leakage. And so we get a really great whole house understanding about how the house is performing and where some of the shortfalls might be and how to better size heating equipment. I've been in the heating and cooling industry for quite some time now. One of the biggest challenges I see is contractors recommending equipment size based on, you know, the, the famous rule of thumb. I hear some folks say that it's for every thousand square feet, it should be one ton of heat pump. Some people use 850. It's sheer guesswork. The heat loss of the home was approximately 26,000 BTUs per hour. So we went down to the furnace. Looks good on this side. And its capacity was 72,000 BTUs per hour, almost three times as much as the house actually required from a heating point of view. When a homeowner or contractor uses a rule of thumb approach to size a heating system, they could be oversizing by 50, maybe 80%. That could equate to thousands of dollars over the lifespan of the system and potentially you know, $1,000 or more on the initial installment cost too. Having the data provided from the home energy assessment will allow us, a contractor, to ensure that A, we're not going to oversize somebody's equipment, uh, we're not going to undersize, which means, again, we're not getting into the electrical backup coming on for the homeowner, causing them higher energy costs than what they should be facing. Finally, the day is here. I'm getting my heat pump put in, and I'm really happy. It's just like Christmas morning, as far as I'm concerned. The assessment allows us, the contractor, to come in here fully confident knowing that we are not putting in the wrong equipment for the homeowner. He's going to get the proper amount of heat that he needs in the winter months, the proper amount of cooling that he's going to need in the summer months. I'm really pleased with the heat pump and I'm really pleased that I don't have to burn no more oil, which is helping uh, cut down on greenhouse gases. And all the information that we got from our energy advisor I know that he never had no interest in selling me any products. He was more or less saying, look Ron, this is where you're losing heat. This is what you need to do in order for a heat pump to work in your home. The most successful projects happen when we collaborate with the energy evaluator and come up with a comprehensive solution for the owner and their particular home. 